Good morning. I uh, said yesterday when I was in Vienna, Austria, that I should do a Day in the Life of Jeff video just so people could kind of see all the things I know because I do so many things. And actually, I'm not even sure I'm going to do half the things I normally do today, but I thought I'd try to shoot this video. Uh, I'm in Belgrade, Serbia, so, um, well, I guess, you know, I'll show you just sort of like my, my day, my life today. Um, I'm in a beautiful hotel. It's, if you're ever in Belgrade, Serbia, stay at the St. Ten Hotel. Here's my hotel room. Um, got a nice patio out there, too. And, uh, well, I'm just waking up. Just checked some emails and just some random scanning of what's going on on the internet. Uh, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll start to get up. One thing I should mention is that I should redo this video when I get back home, because when I'm at home, it's a totally different story. It's hardcore, my routine. This is sort of like the travel routine. So it's like, like I said, about half the things I normally do, but you might be kind of surprised how many things I do. Or it depends. We'll see. We'll see what happens, because I'm not, I feel actually kind of lazy today. So this is not the best day to be doing this, but let's try it. Uh, so this isn't going to be like a, Look how perfect I am video. Um, I actually have been smoking on this trip, but people won't understand this. Um, it's like celebratory because <laughs> um, I'm not smoking like three packs. I'm just smoking every now and then. Uh, and it's just something I'm, I'm planning to do just on this trip. And when I get back home, I'm, I'm off it for 100%. Like it, it's already in my head that way. It's just like, I don't know. I'm enjoying everything so much that I just want to, you know, like, that morning cigarette. Just enjoy everything. Um, so <laughs> it's it's kind of funny, like what I'm going through right now. It's like all the things that I did in the past, I, I'm still doing a little bit, but I'm doing them from a different mind space now. And I know a lot of people say, oh, you're just talking yourself into, you're, you're going to go back to all the stuff you used to do. No, I'm not. And I'm actually experimenting with this to see Actually, I have some more experience about this. Actually, last night, I had an experience that uh, would have normally triggered me to get want to really get drunk and just drink myself to sleep because I was feeling a little lonely and stuff like that. Totally didn't. I went out. I had a nice dinner by myself. I had one glass of wine, which I didn't even finish. I enjoyed the meal so much. There was this mariachi thing going on, like a not Mexican style, but obviously Serbian style. Everyone at the restaurant was singing. That normally would have just like too much noise for me is like a. a that's another thing I'm gonna get into probably in this video about noise, but um, for some reason it just bothers me. But uh, I was just like almost singing along with them, just enjoying myself. And then I just went home and went to went back to the hotel here and, and uh, went to sleep. No problems at all. Feeling great this morning. So again, this is just I, one of the things about me is I'm an experimenter. I will experiment with everything just to see what I can do, what what happens when I do certain things in certain situations. Uh, that's something I've always been. So, um, yeah, I'm having a few cigarettes while I'm here. And actually, I gotta say, it's not that enjoyable. Um, so that's another thing. Like, so I'm learning that. I'm like, okay. So now that I'm in a good space, what does this feel like? And you know, the first one in the morning is always pretty good. But then after that, it's not. Maybe like one when at night, you know. Maybe I'll become one of those sort of people. Who knows? We're, you know, this is a never-ending experiment, basically, of what works for me and what doesn't. But I'm in such a good space now that, uh, like, I'm. I just feel so good. Like I, I woke up this morning, I was like, I feel so good. I feel so happy. And there's nothing in particular to be super happy about. It's just that's just how I feel. But being out on this patio, it's a beautiful day here. The air feels so good. Everything feels so good. Like, like I said in my walk and talk from Vienna, I, I, I kind of feel high, and I still do. Like, I could feel this air. It feels so nice. That's why I'm, I'm trying, like, oh, I wonder if I can have a cigarette. I wonder if that'll make me even feel better, you know? I'm just trying it. So just trying stuff. And that's something I actually re recommend to a lot of people, but you have to be a little careful because some people have so many issues and problems and things like that that if they try, say, crack or whatever it is like I've tried everything that they might get uh, 
might not be able to control it too much. And I guess I haven't been able to control a number of things in the past, mostly alcohol, but now I have that like completely under control, like scarily under control. Actually, I should show you. I came back last night and I was like, okay, it, you know, there was a thing that triggered, that should have triggered me, but didn't. And I actually bought a scotch at the bar to bring up to the room. Cause I thought, okay, that's just what I would normally sort of do. Well, there's the scotch. I didn't even touch it. Just, I'm in a different space now. And this is something I actually want to, want to, um, I thought this morning that I kind of want to help other people get through what I've gone through because I have so much experience with it now. And the one thing that I learned was that you, once you fix sort of more of the emotional, the spiritual, the, all that kind of stuff, once you can get through that, the real key to these things is fixing your body and your mind and your spirit, everything, so that you don't want, you just don't want those things. Like it's not, you know, a lot of people say, oh, if you quit drinking and quit smoking, whatever, it's kind of funny. I've done both, but I'm doing both or doing one at least at the moment. But I, again, I'm not going to continue with it. But um, a lot of people say, oh, it's just got to be really hard the rest of your life. It actually doesn't because once you get yourself fixed to a certain extent, you just stop wanting those things. Like I had, I didn't even finish my glass of wine last night and I didn't touch the scotch I bought. It just, it just, oh, and I also walked by this strip club, which normally after having been triggered a little bit, I would have just ran right in there and, you know, been there all night. The guy offered me and it wasn't even a thought. I was like, no, that's just not what I want right now. So I've reorganized my brain somehow or my myself as a whole that the, I just don't want those things. It's, so it's not even like a issue as far as oh it's I gotta make sure I don't drink too much it's like I don't want to so that's the state that's the step that you that I found that like if you, if you can get to that step and that's the same with the food that I was talking about it's not that hard to intermittent fast you just once you get onto it it's like that's all you do so I'm not gonna be eating here for a while it's already one in the afternoon I slept oh, I was so tired I slept uh, till noon from two in the morning so ten hours I was really good uh, but I probably won't eat for another couple hours. That's part of my intermittent fasting. And it's just, I don't need to. I don't want to. So again, all these things, it's pretty amazing. I, I think a lot of these things that people are like trying to work on their diet or work on their whatever, drinking or smoking or whatever it is. Uh, they think it's got to be like hell for the rest of their life. That's one of the things that I've realized. And that's one of the things I pointed out when I quit smoking, quit drinking for like, you know, a long period of time from those two books, the easy way to quit smoking and the easy way to control alcohol, was that you don't, it's not, if you tell yourself it's a hard thing, it's always gonna be a hard thing. Your, your subconscious will do whatever you you tell it to do. And if you're telling yourself it's hard, it's gonna be hard, but it doesn't have to be. You, you split the switch where you go, that stuff doesn't help me. And then after enough time, it always takes time, you uh, just don't want it anymore. It's really amazing. All right, so enema bag, be doing coffee enema in a bit. I'll actually show you guys a little bit of that. I've had people request to show, and I kind of understand because if you don't know how it all works, it sounds kind of confusing. This is something I massage myself with. Uh, I haven't been doing it on this trip, but if I'm in Acapulco, I'll put on some coconut oil, I'll go out in the sun and just, um, it actually loosens up all your, I don't even know what you call it. Uh, if you look up this person, what uh, doesn't have the brand on here, but, Anyway, it's actually really good for you. Uh, it's a bit of a self-love sort of thing too. Uh, just being touched and just touching yourself. And you can really massage yourself amazingly. It's, it's pretty amazing. I didn't realize that you really could. So I've got some cannabis oil if I ever want that. I rarely ever do that. But every now and then I, I do want it. Uh, kratom, uh, which I'll do every now and then, especially if I have to go out and there's, I need a lot of energy, like some sort of a get-together or something. Uh, well, here's something interesting. So, I hate flossing. This thing is amazing. It's like, uh, you just put it in and, and floss. It's like, here, I'll show you. Anyway, really good. I, I hate flossing with the, the, uh, 
the whatever you call it, the floss. <laughs> so, okay, all the herbs and stuff. I got six of these from Dr. Morse. Liver and gallbladder tonic, parasite, adrenal gland tonic, endocrine balance, licorice root, kidney and bladder. I've got this 10 in 1 uh, essential oils, raw olive, castor, peppermint, geranium, walnut, clove, artemisa, garlic, black cumin, I don't even know what half this stuff is. Thyme, oil of bitter almonds. I usually put that in my enema, actually. I'll show you guys that later. Uh, for guys out there, getting older especially, I do take uh, extra supplements. Um, I don't know if you can read this. I can barely read it. But uh, let's see. Horny goat weed. M maca. Maca's amazing. So guys out there, if, you, if you're like a little bit feeling like your testosterone's a bit low or, you know, that manliness sort of stuff. Get stuff like this. It's really good. Yohimba, Yohimba bark, um, arginine, all kinds of stuff. And then there's more Dr. Moore stuff. This is more parasite stuff. These are the pills, not the tinctures. Kidney and bladder tonic. Lymphatic system. Uh, stomach and bowel tonic. So I'm going to take two of each of these pills and then a, a dropper of all of these. And I do that three times a day. Then I've got some mag magnesium oil, which apparently a lot of people say is really good for um, uh, depression. That's when I first got it. And you're supposed to take it with some other stuff as well, but I didn't bring that on my trip. So I just spray this on my body every now and then. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do all that right now. And then we'll carry on. Oh, I should point out. You gotta get like a sleeping mask. Uh, it makes your sleep so much better. So that's my sleeping mask. Yeah, I'll put it on so you can see. But this is like, it's so good. And I got this really good quality one from Brooks or something. Like, make sure you get a good one that's nice and tight. I actually have it on upside down, I think. But man, I, I can barely sleep without it now. Um, Noise canceling headphones, uh, excellent for planes. And as I mentioned, noises really bother me. I don't know why that is. I also have these, which is amazing. I just uh, bought these. They're about 300 bucks. It's called uh, Here. These are noise canceling uh, earbuds. Cost 300 bucks, it's not cheap. But uh, you can wear those while you're sleeping and put on like a little headband around and then you can actually just noise cancel. Uh, so forget about uh, putting in like things in your ears to block the noise. This actually will cancel the noise and you could even put in some, you know, some good meditation music and stuff like that if you want, if that's how you prefer to sleep. I sometimes do, sometimes don't, but uh, noises really bother me as I said, so I have those when I sleep. So now I'm, I'm checking out some meditation music to put on while I do the uh, coffee enema soon or i might go for a walk first i'm not sure but i'm just going to throw this on i've already been listening to this one so i've actually got this great speaker for travel called the mars boy i'll go over here so you can hear the music's over in the washroom so this is the mars boy that's where the sound's coming from right now and uh i like having that so there we go i got some so I'm either going to do the, the coffee enema or go for a walk first. I'll decide here in the next couple of minutes. We'll have some juice in the morning, fruit juice. Uh, if at home, I'll have organic, raw, fresh grape juice in the hotel, a little different. They might have something good downstairs, but I just want something right now. It looks like some apple juice. I also wanted to point out, I forgot to mention this uh, ultrasonic toothbrush thing. So good. I just like, I can't go back to regular toothbrush after that. So if you don't have one of those, like with this flosser thing and this <laughs> thing, like, it's improved my dental hygiene by about times 10. All right, I decided to go for a walk first. It's another thing I do quite a bit too, is just go with what I'm feeling, what I feel like. Yeah, I feel like going for a walk, so let's do a little bit of a walk. I won't do the whole 30 minutes uh, video uh, to keep this video as a whole shorter, but oh, it's a beautiful day here in Serbia. Um, 
I just think a bit more about how you get yourself to the point where you're, if you, if you get yourself in a situation where you're a lot better than where I was, right? So started with the physical, uh, eating a lot better, exercising, morning walks, um, and then that gets into the mental sort of stuff, which psychedelics helped me quite a bit with. It got me, uh, it was actually the first thing that got me started. So I really needed something hard, <laughs> like something crazy. So things like ayahuasca and a boga did that for me. It was not easy at all, but uh, it was necessary. Um, and then I got more into the meditation, the more spiritual, the more connection. Tons of construction here right now. This is normally quite a nice little uh, fountain and stuff, <laughs> but uh, Oh man, there's so many beautiful girls in Serbia, if that's what you're into. It's actually really nice here. The people, it's got a great vibe. I quite like it. But yeah, you get more into the uh, consciousness sort of stuff. And then before you know it, your body doesn't want a lot of those things that, you know, things like alcohol and cigarettes and really crappy food and all that kind of stuff, your body actually, when you get to that point, is basically, uh, it wants the good things. So that's why I was saying earlier, it's, it's not like all these things have to be, this is one of the things that I think is a lot of misinformation on. Like you'll see a lot of people talking about, oh, I used to drink a lot, I was an alcoholic, but now every day is a struggle. It's like, well then you're doing it wrong. Um, because it, it isn't, if you're doing the right things. Because your body doesn't want those things in general. Like it might want a drink or something like that, but it doesn't want to get like drunk unless you've got some issues, right? So if you can fix those issues and get your body really clean, you can, uh, like, it's just like, it's not hard. <laughs> it's like, that's what your body wants. So like I said, like last night, I, I normally would have been really depressed about something last night. That wasn't at all. And I, I actually ordered the scotch out of mostly habit. And that's another thing too, a lot of these things are just habits. And, uh, but I didn't even touch it because my body doesn't want that. So it's, there's no, and again, this can go even be like things like parasites, right? You saw that I'm taking a number of parasite related things. Also eating a lot cleaner. Also doing things like enemas and all that kind of stuff. So I wouldn't doubt it if I have much less parasites than I used to. You know, I think the parasites want that stuff as much as you do, or more. So, and then as far as habits go, you know, that's one thing I've known my whole life is if you just get into a habit or a routine or something, it just becomes easy because your, your brain is kind of like a, a computer, but kind of like a slow computer, like, you can't just do one thing one day. You can't just exercise today. And then tomorrow you're like, well, I got to exercise. It's, it actually takes weeks or sometimes even months. But once you establish that habit, it doesn't become any sort of hard at all. So for all the people out there who have been having trouble exercising, first of all, I can tell by talking to people, they, they consider it to be a chore or something that's hard. It really doesn't have to be. I actually forgot my TRX cables on this trip, and I don't know if the hotel even has a gym. But I would normally use the cables. It's so easy. It's not hard at all. And uh, again, once you just establish a routine, just like anything, you just continue on with it with, without even thinking about it. It becomes unconscious. So, 
Now, if you're, if you're looking for some way to exercise, find something you enjoy. Like, I'm sure even people who don't like to exercise enjoy certain things, like maybe it's riding a bike. But don't think of it as exercise. Just get out there and start moving. And just try to do it and, you know, force yourself to do it every day for a couple of weeks. And before you know it, if you get up and you don't ride that bike that day, you're going to feel like kind of off, like you're not, like something's out of sync in your life. So very quickly, these things just become out. So just find whatever it is there. Maybe it's Frisbee golf or golf. Golf's a good one. I actually just bought uh, some moccasins, which are leather sole so I can ground with the earth. So I'm really excited about that because I'm going to try to golf at least a few times a month. But I'll essentially be grounding the entire time. Oh, here's a nice little park. So, uh, yeah, grounding, that's a whole other thing. Man, I could, you know, talk forever about all these things. But yeah, just getting back to nature. Like, I'm actually going to go on this grass right now without my sandals. Just to get a little bit of grounding, a little bit of connection to the earth. And that's another thing that's so missing with so many people. Uh, who live in cities and stuff. You just, you get disconnected. So, shoes off. Walk on the grass. And, uh, you know, all this stuff affects you. So anyway, I decided to go for a walk today. Uh, before I did the coffee enema, just felt like that's what I wanted to do. And yeah, if I don't do a lot of these things now because I've been doing them for so long, it does feel like I'm uh, like I'm out, off kilter. And so it's not even like hard. Like a lot of people might think, oh, look at all the stuff he's doing, it must be so hard. It might seem that way, but really after you do it a little bit, it's not hard at all. And it's really not that hard if you think about it. It's mostly your brain telling you that. Because your brain, your mind, <laughs> in many ways is not your friend. It's sort of, it's a useful tool, but in many ways it's sort of your enemy. So you have to learn how to manage that. And again, that will come with things like meditation. Uh, even like I said, the psychedelics, because I'll give you a massive uh, self-analysis things like ayahuasca but those are pretty hardcore you don't have to do those if you're not ready and if you don't feel ready don't do it you'll know when it when it's time if you need it it's a beautiful day here oh, dogs <laughs> so cute Oh, I miss my dogs. I'm going to go home soon. I'm going to look, actually look into flights for tomorrow to start heading back home. Uh, just, it's been too long. But it's been also good. So yeah, as far as my routine, this isn't going to be like uh, anything close to what I do at home. After this enema, I'll probably work out if there is a gym. If there isn't, I might do some just light workout in my room. And that's basically it. So as you can see, it's like, you know, and then not eating until, well, it's two o'clock now. Not even, I'm not even hungry. So that's the thing, once you get used to these, these uh, routines, it's nothing. So the intermittent fasting is really important. And by the way, I'm doing this video because I mentioned it yesterday in my video. And Stephanie Weeks, a friend of my, uh, or sorry, wife of my friend, Joby Weeks, first Facebook message I saw today was, yeah, you should do that uh, Day in the Life of Jeff video. So again, I just kind of like go with the flow and listen to where things are guiding me. So I'm doing this partially because of you, Stephanie. I do want to say I've seen Joby's lifestyle lately. And he needs to incorporate a few of these things. And I know he can't do them all. But one of them would be the intermittent fasting. Because I've seen he uh, he's just always eating. 
and that's really not good for you. Uh, and the intermittent fasting is so easy. So just get into the habit of just not eating until at least two in the afternoon and, and try just to drink fruit juices in the morning. <laughs> that was one of the things about the house that we were at. I was like, oh my God, all they had in the fridge was beer and vodka and whiskey. I was like, uh, we need some like fruit juice. <laughs> um, just something basic like that. You don't have to do a whole lifestyle change, but even just one thing like that, like just doing the intermittent fasting will greatly in, uh, improve uh, his health. And when, when your health improves, your uh, everything improves, right? You, you have more energy to do business. Now, Joby's got tons of energy, he's younger, but if he continues on doing all the things he's doing, I, he's gonna burn out. So I would suggest at least the intermittent fasting and, and maybe like the morning walk sort of thing. So those are two easy things. Try to, you know, somehow get that going and uh, that'll really greatly improve everything. Um, oh, and he also eats tons of meat. Like, I'm not just picking on Joby here. I'm just like, this is one example of one person I know that I would suggest some changes. Uh, a little less meat. Because um, that also, that just gets your butt, it just, so much work for your body to digest, right? And th those intermittent fasting will greatly reduce the, uh, the desire for massive amounts of meat like that. All right, I'm off the grass, put my shoes back on. I would have hugged a tree, but so that's actually also good, but there's a lot of people here. I don't need to cause a scene, <laughs> but um, yeah, so. I think I'm gonna leave the, the, the walk and talk at that for now and then we'll go back and uh, I'll show you guys the coffee in them. I forgot to mention I have this uh, new Fitbit watch. I know it's kind of cheesy, but you can actually see the steps. So I just wear this all the time and it actually will, oops. It will actually email you um, once a week to kind of just tell you how many steps you took that week, uh, how many calories you may have burned. I don't know how, how uh, exact the calories are, but um, how many hours you slept uh, on average. And it's kind of interesting. You can just kind of see what your, what your week was like. Was it up or down from the previous week? Uh, if you kind of notice, oh, I... I walk way less this week. I better next week. I should focus a bit more on walking a bit more. I don't know. I just think it's kind of good. And um, yeah, I've been doing about ten thousand steps a day, which I don't know how many. It actually says miles. Let's see how far I've gone in miles so far here. So yeah, so far today already two miles. Uh, shows your heart rate. I actually, shows oh, the video turned off there, but yeah. If you want to focus on your exercise and stuff, it's just a added reminder. You know, little reminders are always good too. Sometimes you get caught up in your life and you you forget about certain things, and just a little reminder. So anyway, I got lost again, but I just checked Google Maps, so I'm uh, on my way back to the hotel for the coffee enema. All right, it's 3.30, first meal of the day. Just having a salad and uh, fresh squeezed orange juice and pot of coffee for the enema afterwards. I usually do enema and exercise before I eat, but um, not today. It's time, so here's the enema bag. It's actually a really good one. It's like got that uh, good plastic that doesn't have the, whatever it's called, BHPs or whatever. Uh, let's lie here. Coffee, I'm gonna pour out some of this so it's not too hot. Pour in some water. Let's see. Not too hot, still too hot. So. pour in some, all these herbs I'm going to pour in, uh, some drops into that. 
right, and I poured it into the back. And uh, now this. And now to insert it. Now you just lie down on your right side. Let's see. Pretty quickly goes. It's already in. Took like 20 seconds. That's basically it. Now I just lie here, think about what I want to do today, and then uh, start to get into meditating a little bit. And 15 20 minutes will be done. Uh, feels so good. So now I put my feet up. Get into like a crouching position. And now there are these. Oh! I feel so relaxed after. Uh, I forgot to mention this, this uh, essential living dry brush. You just brush your whole body. Just, just like strokes all the way up towards your heart. Gets your uh, lymphatic uh, fluids moving. Also very good. All right, now gym. It's not much of a gym here. Just a uh, few weights and uh, treadmill. So I'll probably do treadmill and just a little bit of weights. I forgot my TRX cables, which are freaking awesome. It's like even way better than go to the gym, in my opinion. Uh, otherwise, I'd do that in my room. But uh, I just have a light workout here. I don't do anything too crazy. I just get, again, the blood moving, get, you know, use the muscles a little bit. And uh, it greatly improves your mood, as most people know. Uh, just doing things like that. All right, so that's basically it. Uh, just did like 20 minutes in the gym. Uh, just like I said, get the blood flowing. I don't need to do a lot of weights to put on muscle either. Just sort of a genetic thing, I think. Also, I want to point out these shoes. Uh, Vibram. It's uh, pretty cool. You can just like pack it up really for people who travel. Really good sort of uh, workout shoes. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So that's my travel routine. It's now uh, five o'clock. I have been working off and on, like throughout the day, in between everything I've, I've been working. So it's kind of like this work, do this, work, do that. But really now it's sort of like the feeling of starting my day because I'm done all my, my health stuff. Um, none of it was any hard thing to do. Um, in fact, if I didn't do it, I wouldn't feel as good. So that's what I do on the road. I'm going to try to do one of these at home when I get back home in Acapulco. Uh, just, it's a lot more stuff. Um, but I just want to give everyone a, a bit of a glimpse and I will eat one more time, uh, probably around eight o'clock. And uh, so basically two meals a day, that's sal I tell you that when you're doing all these things, you don't have much of an appetite really. Uh, I've had two juices and a salad, uh, and I'm probably not gonna eat till eight, and that'll be my last meal. And it's just really no problem uh, at all. It feels great. So just wanted to give people a glimpse of what I've been doing. Um, and yeah, I just feel amazing. I, even today, I, I still feel like I'm on ecstasy a little bit. So hopefully I can keep this going. But uh, for me, it's been amazing to do this on a trip. It's the first time in my life uh, having done something like this where I've been able to stick to all my stuff and and uh, feels great. So just wanted to let everyone get a glimpse of that. If you have any questions, if there's anything that I didn't uh, explain very well, um, feel free. I, I can't read all the comments on all the stuff I do, but I do see some of them. And if I do see them and I'm near a keyboard, I'll, I'll respond. So uh, that's it from uh, Belgrade. I'm going to Athens tomorrow to have dinner with a friend. It's fairly close by. And then it's back to Acapulco. Looking forward to that. And then we can get back to the, the most important part of the walk and talks, the doggies.